So the, describe the sequence. Uh, just describe uh, whatever you see, right? Describe the sequence. When you want P1, just describe whether it's increasing or decreasing or whether it's a constant. So, so behaves uh, can be either be increasing, decreasing. Uh, maybe you write this down. Constant uh, or alternating. Alternating means plus minus plus minus uh. so uh, or you can just fluctuate uh, alternate between you remember the mock paper that we have right is the alternating sequence is the same thing so describe the behavior P is a uh, first term uh. so I think for this question right if if it's not common in your prelim or your exercise you don't go and brute force do it first especially for paper two please do your stats first okay so do stats first and see i'm not expecting you to get full marks then you do like normal by normal the rest whack the standard question first then only you start doing these kind of questions okay and then this uh pure math but the harder ones you just leave it at the end then you, you slowly do it lah. so this one no choice but we have to brute force or so-called slowly iterate it down lah. so if uh um plus one is equal to twice of um minus five you must understand that to get my um plus one I take my, to get my next term, I take my current term, twice it, and then minus all five. Okay? Just no, but this is not an AP, ma, because, it's not an AP, because you twice the current term, minus five. Okay? Twice, minus five. Twice, minus five. So if, if U1 is P, uh, U1 is P, U1 is P, which is P7, one is seven, Means you just see u2 lor. u2 will be twice of 7 minus 5. 14 minus 5 will be what? 9, right? Then u3 will be twice the current term. Then minus 5. Uh, 18 minus 5 will be 13, right? Right, so u4 is just u13 minus 5 again. That will be 26. 21 and so on okay you can see that uh when p equals to 7 uh sequence is strictly increasing uh, or is increasing okay it's just u1 7 9 13 21 and so on so you just do that um that is a B, U1, they give you 5. This is an interesting one. You see, like I say, uh, you twice the current number minus all 5. Uh, so you know that this will be a constant term because uh, it, U2 will be twice of 5 minus 5. You get back 5. U3 will be twice of the previous term, which is 5 minus 5. You get back 5. Everything just keep getting 5. Okay, so for B, when P... Uh, when p is equal to 5, sequence is a constant term. Uh, uh, the constants con is constant. The constant sequence, 